Baby, you're just as good as anybody else. And also, you got to remember that you're a winner, baby. We're all winners. That's the tea. I think that this season, people are going to be surprised, right? The word is surprised. Y'all gotta work with me. I'm a struggling bitch. I think that people will be surprised by me on this particular season because I don't have to worry too hard about competition. I've already won, baby, okay? So I'm here to make sure that I can have a really good time, have a lot of fun, and give the girls exactly what they're looking for. Y'all gonna see a more funner, brighter Jada than you've ever seen in the past. And, I'm the same in so many ways because you already know there's gonna be a lot of glamour, beautiful looks, and of course the mug is always gonna be stamped. I was a trade of season 12, and then even when I wasn't there, I was a trade of season 13 too. And now I'm a trade of all winners. Come on now, you know what I'm saying? You might not win the crown, but at least if you look good. I have every single thing that I wore on RuPaul's Drag Race season 12 still in my closet because of one little thing, Corona, baby. I was not able to travel and like have like go out and like wear the things and be like, oh, I'm tired of seeing them and get rid of them. So they're just all in my house, still like most still in the basement. Most of it is still not even like unboxed from like photo shoots and things like that. It was just like still just there. I, maybe I should sell everything. Maybe I should make like an archive of things. Is that a, is that a thing? Maybe a museum. Maybe be a museum and then I could charge people money to get in. What is a good price to charge somebody to get into a museum? $400. I did not injure myself lip syncing for the crown during the lip sync. The only thing that I was most afraid of is that I would catch a rug burn on my legs because as y'all know, I decided to do a split in my house for the finale crown and I had done that on carpet like a fool. But it turned out it worked out I won the crown. But unfortunately, my living room does not look like that anymore because I moved on up, honey, yeah. So I have a better looking apartment, uh, more space. So if y'all see me dancing around, I can dance from the kitchen to the front room, to the back room, up the stairs, down in the basement. There's a lot of dancing room now. If somebody had to complain about noise that I was making during the finale, honey, I would just had to toss them maybe $100 or something. I'm like, baby, I'm working to get $100,000 cash, cold hard cash. I'm gonna make as much noise as I need to, honey. You know, um, I think that you can tell by the sign of the times that things are moving forward. Even after winning and you could see the way that so many people showed up for what was everything that was happening in the world with George Floyd, that immediately made me feel, it made me feel like hopeful that things can be better in the world because normally when situations like that happen, there has not been an outpour of people to speak up and, and stand up against that. And to see so many different people from so many different places, people that I love that before might not have spoken up about it, go out to rallies and, and protest and, and stand up for people like myself. It just made me feel super hopeful. Um, and even like in the Drag Race fan base where sometimes there is a lot of negativity from some of the people who are fans of the show, it you could tell that people kind of just opened up a little bit more and like were more in touch with like people's feelings and emotions. And I think that like in the world we need more of that because the more that we consider other people's feelings and the more we think about the other people around us as ourselves, the better we can be to ourselves and to the world. Oh my God, I'm a crybaby. I have to say, and I'm gonna I'm say this because I feel like this is one of the most recent things that has happened, but after we filmed the show, and I don't know if I shouldn't say after, but one of the most meaningful things that I've ever experienced with a Drag Race girl was me and Shay Coulee <laughs> took the most craziest like getaway trip together with like a bunch of her friends. She invited me to come along just because she wanted like just like m just have a moment. And we're both from the Midwest. We live super close together. We've always had like opportunities where we work together, but because we don't live in the same city, it's like she would get done with work. I would get done with work. I would go back to Milwaukee or she would go back to Chicago. And we've never really had like an opportunity to really like bond and hang out. And like literally I went out with her partner, Dan, her assistant, was there, she was there, a couple of us, we just like rented a cute little villa and like we stayed there and just had like the most incredible time ever. And it meant a lot to me because like growing up, I didn't have a lot of friends like that, but to see Shay like just bring me in and just be so close to me, even though we might not have had shared the, the most before, it just meant, literally meant the world to me. That is, a, she's a sickening bitch and she's a sickening friend, so like, what more can you ask for, you know what I mean? Yeah, I love her. <laughs> mm.
when being at home during the pandemic, um, I spent a lot of my time online, which is something that I never really had done before. I mean, I was on like Facebook scrolling, but I was one of those people who were not an Instagram kind of person. And so I had to turn my life over and like spend a lot of time on social media because that was the only way that I could connect with people. And so I did spend a lot of time doing like live videos or like performing digitally from home, which it then it was fun. But when I'm looking back at it, it was such a trek. It was like really, really, really hard to do all of that. After winning Drag Race, you have the opportunity to work on your confidence. You get to work on all the things that you might not have been good at on the show. Like you can go out, you tour on, you get on the microphone, you get more familiar with being funny. You get more familiar with being like a winner. And I thought, I was like in my mind, I was like, oh my God, I haven't had as much time to be like fully confident as I am or as I think I should be at this point. Um, or I've really not even worked on some of the things that I, uh, I I sucked at on season 12, but I also thought to myself, like, what is what is the worst that could happen? Go in and challenge yourself. The same way you went in on season 12, go in and just put your head first. Work really hard and give the all that you have out of your spirit and your energy, and baby, you're just as good as anybody else. And also, you got to remember that you're a winner, baby. We're all winners, that's the team.